All right, guys, MTB Gorilla here. It has nothing to do with mountain biking today, but another passion of mine, and that is home theater. Well, we started out with home theater about 15 years ago. Projector, one day I came home with a weird box instead of a TV, and it happened to be a projector. Ever since then, we've been hooked. Today, we're doing some upgrades to the basement. Basically, changing paint color is the number one thing. We started out red, which was a huge mistake. Never paint your home theater room red. Then we went too light. This is this light blue color you can see the color of the screen there as well that'll make a lot more sense once the projector's on as to why it's that color but today we are doing some major changes today we are increasing the screen size to about 134 inches uh, so we're going to frame that up and then we're also going to paint the ceiling black i'm going all in on this one and painting the walls it's called carbon copy so i will leave uh, the link for that and that's the plan i'll let you know how it goes Okay, next question is, do we do the whole ceiling black? Or we were gonna do a border, take a piece of molding and put it across from there to there and paint that black. And the problem is also this bulkhead, we need to be that black. And put a border here. We're gonna put a border here and paint this black. But where do we stop? Where do we stop? Next step is screen size. So we are currently at 118 inch screen size. And we did have a black border on it before. That's up there in the squad rack. So 118 inches. My goal is to be no less than 133 inch screen. Hopefully. As big as we can make it. We're going to have to move the AV stand and stuff like that. Uh, down there, but that's okay. We got all the outlet covers off. And there, and there, and over there. And the vents. Next, we're pulling the PJ down. This is my current projector, Epson 3020, uh, 1080p projector. I'd love to get a 4K projector one of these days. That'll be coming. So we're gonna pull the PJ down, and we gotta pull all the light bezels down. We're gonna paint all those black as well got that opening there but we're gonna fill this opening we used to have a pam's grampus firefighter's jacket in a picture frame there but i think that i'm actually going to we've got three sound panels that go up here too sorry and i'm gonna make a third one that covers this whole thing and possibly a base trap in both corners as well so you can see the size of the screen that's 133 inches is what we decided on we still have room for the towers to the left and to the right. All right, it is 6.30 and we just started painting. This is the carbon copy color that we're going on the walls. And we're gonna spray, we're gonna do one coat tonight and then spray the ceiling black tomorrow. Then do a second coat and spray the screen. First coat is done of the carbon copy on the walls. Looks a little bit green in the camera. There's Duncan, hey Duncan. Very dark. Looks pretty good. On day two, of course, we did the first coat of our paint, our carbon copy paint, uh, yesterday, and we're going to start doing spraying the ceiling. So I'm going to be masking off for that. It looks pretty good. Here it is, uh, natural light. So not as dark. Well, it's going to get darker, obviously, with another coat, but not as dark as it did look last night. Going to continue on. I have to say that I got this idea for the carbon, the color for the carbon copy from Tony from Build Montage. It's one of his tours that he did. Well, I look, liked it on there, so I'm going to use it here. All right, guys, it's 7 a.m. I'm the third day of working on this. We got two coats on the ceiling. We're going to have a look at it and see how we did. Here we go, let's have a look. We found some flat black paint in the garage. We tried to do a little coverage right here. As you can see, it's a little different color. So I think the answer is going to be some more paint. And do one more coat. And we can start painting the screen. sprayed the screen today that is a big screen and now it's time to get some more coats on the wall 
It is immensely darker in here than it used to be. All right, welcome back, guys. And here we are. We have got the second coat of the walls done. Looks amazing. I'll turn the lights off here so you can see the contrast between the black ceiling and the walls. That looks a lot lighter now with the natural light on it. Uh, we just got our screen border up. Looks incredible. We got a little bit of touch-ups to do up there. We had some screen overspray there. All right, guys, we are continuing on. We have got the rear speakers mounted. That one's got to come off because we need to fix some paint up there, you can see. The projector is just on. Our bulkhead is yet to be made. Uh, the covers are on. Some wires are done. We're going to change this whole setup here and move it probably into this hole and make this an AV rack uh, later on. But for now, we're just doing some testing and adjusting and going from there. That is the bar. Hey guys, welcome back. We are about 90% done down here. We did a lot of work over the course of about a week and a half, a lot of painting to get this theater room where it is now. We're still got a little bit more, as so I'll explain. I'll give you a little bit of a tour here. So we've got our poke surrounds. Those are the RTIA 3s I believe. Um, our homemade sound panel here, <clears throat> wrapped in black velvet. Of course, with some safe and sound installation inside of it. We have our blackout ceiling. This is the tricorn black with where we also painted our, our outlets when the speaker wire comes out and our heat panels. Uh, we also painted all of the pot lights black. Let's see if we can see that here. There, so that turned out really good. You can see how black it is. Really nice. Um, of course, our outlets for our projector. For our projector, we're on the Epson 3020. 1080p projector. We've had this for probably 10 years. It's been an awesome projector. Thinking about upgrading it sometime, maybe. One thing we are going to upgrade is here's our Kef uh, Cube 2, I believe it is, 10 inch subwoofer. So I am waiting for Mach 5 audio to build my two IXL 18 inch subs, which are going to be run by this iNuke uh, 6000 watt amp down there. For the front sound stage, we've got the Pogue RTIA 9s. Here I got a bi amped and then the Pogue R CSI 6 for a center channel. Bi amping, I'm running on a BNK AV 5000 Series 2, so they're receiving 250 watts each for the front, and then I'm bi amping my center off of the last channel for the BNK, so that's 125 to the mids and lows, and then we've got the around 70 watts coming from my NAD going to the center as well. I believe that's about what it runs off the T758, although I am only running three channels off the back of that NAD right now, my two surrounds and my high crossover on my center. Of course, we've got the Amazon Fire TV Cube and the Harmony One Elite One remote that I use as well to run all this. There's thoughts of moving this whole setup and building a rack and putting it inside this hole over here. So that's a definite possibility for the future. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna paint it the same carbon copy gray as the walls. So it matches a little better. We're gonna be doing some more trim work at the bottom. So this is unfinished right now on this side of the room. I have some outlets, some two speaker outlets for this side because of course I'm bi amping my left and my right. And then I have a six speaker outlet coming. So that's gonna run four for these, my left and my right, and then two for subwoofers. I don't know where they're gonna be positioned yet, so we're gonna run a room EQ wizard first before we go ahead and do that. We've got the screen painted in 133 inch uh, black velvet paint. Looks kind of gray, but man, does it ever do an amazing job of reflecting the light. It's about 1.1 gain on that. On this side here, we've got our two other custom sound panels, you know, the safe and sound uh, insulation. Over here, we finished this up too, so we fixed the walls up and repainted everything. My little anniversary gift for my wife, which is the Death Star that lights up in LED. Like that. Looks pretty slick. Custom painted this the other day, a little drink cabinet. 
Uh, so Pam picked the color on this. We mounted the wine rack holder. We're going to figure out some sort of light that's going to go up here as well. And she wants to wallpaper the back, I believe. And the rest of it is a little bit lighter color, but it is my squat rack and workout area. And that's about it. From back here, at night when we're watching the movie, it is very dark inside that room. It worked out very good for immersion.